What's up, YouTube? Let's see if I can get myself situated here real quick. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Um, guys, I've been dreading making this video for a while. Um, yeah, I have, really. I've been kind of sulking this week, and just... I've gone from being really mad at myself to really upset at myself to... I mean, I guess that's the same thing. To just being sad and just... Honestly, I have. I've been kind of jacked up the last four days about this whole situation. But I'm going to let y'all watch this video. Um, I think I've already... I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all have already seen. I post the video what happened to the boat and me, what happened the other day. And um, I'm just going to post this. Or not post this. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's kind of late, guys. I just want to come in here and talk. But I'm going to show y'all the first part of the video leading up to what happened. And then we'll talk about it after that what's up everybody welcome back up here on the river today doing some fishing i'm gonna run up to the main tennessee river today today's kind of an exploration video just to look around go some places i've never been check some stuff out try to catch a few bass maybe some crappie too so we don't have a lot of time we only have like three hours three and a half hours but i'm gonna be here till dark guys so let's run on up the river see what we can find so let's go fish come on guys Well, guys, I'm... damn it, that one's jacked up. First time coming out here, I barely got off course, and I'm in this much water. Scratched my lower unit up, thank God I didn't break it. Dented my prop up real bad. All right, guys, so yeah, that's what happened. We're going to break it down, and I'm going to talk about it and all that good stuff, but... In my mind, when I was going up there, I'm going into a new area that I've never been to. One, I shouldn't have been going as fast as I was, but it also looks like I'm going a little bit faster than I am, but there's no excuse for it. As you can see, I look at my watch, look at my phone, and that's, that shows how quick an accident happens. I mean, guys, I was. It, what was funny is the whole way up there, I'm like glued to the graph, and then just for a minute, taking off. Just, and what so ha It just so happened to be near in a really bad section going up through there, but we'll talk about it and what happened, but... Um, the whole idea of the boat this year was to get the boat, and I was going to talk about it coming in the new year, and I, I'm still going to talk about it, but this coming up year is like big time Chickamauga for me. Like, I want to learn Chickamauga, I want to run around Chickamauga. Chickamauga is a well-known bass fishery that is relatively close to me, you know, and it's an area that I don't know a lot about, but I do know some about. I'm starting to learn the river a little bit, but I wanted... With my little boat, I can't run the distance and, and go to the areas I want to fish. And with a bigger boat, I can do that. That's the whole reason I got that boat this year. Because this coming season, I want to catch a 10-pounder. 2022, I want to catch a double-digit bass. And I so happen to live close to a lake that I can do that. I fish all these years, fishing parks full, catching littler bass. There's nothing wrong with parks. It's a beautiful lake. But I want a big bass. I want to catch 
quality. I want to learn this river. I want to learn more about the lake. I want to learn stuff. So that's why I got the big boat. So going in to get in the boat, I had the problem with the um, with the trim and teal. That was just so happened to me as a problem. And then this happened. And this was a, a disaster in a lot of ways because one good thing is is I didn't lose my lower unit. I didn't lose it. I could have broke my skag clean off. And I thought, as you can see in the video, I'm pissed. I'm upset. I'm in like shock. You know, I'm like, just like, ah, you know. I'm in inches of water. I mean, like, from the time I hit, and I'm going to show, a, you know, a little video clip of where I'm at right now as I'm talking over it. As I come around the bend there, about right in this location, I look at my watch and as you can see in the video, I'm between the two buoys. You know, you see me come through. I'm far to the right of the of the buoy. I should have been over more in the middle, but I don't... I, it probably would have saved me. You know, I would have had more time to react. But what happened as I come through that buoy, that part of the river dog legs left and comes around close right there. I hit shallow water and then went through a little deep section and back into shallow water. So my prop hits. I realize it. I throw throw it into neutral and then I skim on I slide on up into inches of water which when I first hit the prop I was in inches of water anyway so um and that's it guy I mean I hit that like that and the thing is in video and I don't know how much I'm gonna show because I'm just talking I just want to come in here it's late and I just felt like talking about it because I haven't talked to nobody about anything it um when I hit when I hit that and slid up in there, it took me about an hour and a half. I mean, it took me a good hour and 30, an hour and 40 minutes to get my boat off of that. I mean, it was horrible. Nobody was around. I only had a few hours before dark. This was more or less in the video, if I, if I put the part in where I'm talking the first of it. This was just an exploration video for me. I was going to try to catch some fish, which I do catch a few fish, and I'll put that at the end. So there's kind of a positive part there. But it, um, I just was out looking and figuring new areas out and just getting comfortable with the area that I was going to and wrecking obviously but it um it could have been worse I mean I really I, I could have if I would have clipped that and hit that real shallow before clipping that first part I mean there's no telling what could have happened I could have hit that and been in inches of water and just slid up and stopped and flew out of the boat or you know something bad you know broke my lower unit would have worse for me coming out of the boat because you know it's it's horrible to be ejected in the water, but it's horrible to be injected in inches of water. That could have... I mean, who knows what would have happened to me, but... um, Yeah, it just is horrible. So I hit the part there. I hit it. I've torn my... I did not tear my lower unit off. Thank God I didn't tear my skag. I don't know how, but it didn't tear off. It did rip all, a lot of the paint off of it and everything. It's not a big deal. I can touch that up and make it look new again, but... um, I had a stainless steel prop on there. Now, I mean, it beat it to hell. It's it's beat up i'm gonna have to send it off and have it repaired because it's like a 500 hundred dollar prop that's gonna have to be repaired but in the process i took and went and got a um i can't think of what they're called they're like a they're like a a little meter that you put on so you can take it, it it tests roundness like how round something is i can't think i could show a picture of what it is but i'm about 18 thousandths of an inch off on my prop shaft so that means i bent my prop shaft now I've watched videos and seen other people do it. They'll bend their prop shaft back. Like, they'll bend it. They'll take, like, um, a um, jack and they'll bend it back. And I thought about that, but something really weird is is I'm 17 thousandths of an inch off, and then I'm, like, 22 thousandths of an inch off. So, like, if I go... Here, let me grab this right here so I can explain. If this is my high point right here, and the bottom part of it is my low point... If this is at 17 thousandths, and this bottom part is at zero, so when I go around, that's zero, and that's 17 thousandths. When I go 365 degrees, I'm at like 22 thousandths. And then when I go back around 365 degrees, I'm back at 17 thousandths. So it's like, I don't know what's, it's got to be some kind of internal, I don't know, the dog clutch or some internal damage. I, I'm not sure, really. I don't know what that. I don't know why it would do that. I've watched videos. I can't find anything. I've, like, looked on forums, and I'm just like... Sorry, guys, with TV, it gives me a little ambient light here. I, um... 
I've looked up stuff and I can't figure out why it is. So, for peace of mind, I'm not going to try bending anything else, like, or bending it back or anything. I'm going to pull it. I'm just going to pull the drive shaft. I'm going to take the, drop the whole lower unit, reseal it, check everything, and do it all. But, unfortunately, that's going to be a while. Because it's going to cost me a good little chunk of change. Now, I could send it and have someone else do it. But I've read, like, uh, the repair manual really well. I've watched a lot of videos. I've looked at a lot of stuff. Like, I'm pretty confident I can do it myself. And I take my time and I do it myself. For one, it's going to be too... It'll be really expensive to have someone else do it. And I don't know any Evanrude people in my ear. I don't know. So, I'm just... I'm the type of guy who, like, I, I want to mess with it myself. So... That's one thing. So it's going to be a while. It's not going to be something. The, but the unfortunately, the big boat is down for a while now. I know I've had I've had a lot of people reach out to me here recently, and I appreciate all y'all guys. I know I've been kind of quiet, and I haven't really talked to anybody. And um, I posted the video too on TikTok, and it blew up. I mean, it like it got 1.4 million views. So I mean, it blew up. I got a lot of negative slack on there, which I don't care. I think more people close to me were more upset with all the people. Like I got a lot of negative, but I'm just like, if you make YouTube videos, you're going to be on any social media. You're going to put yourself out there. You got to have thick skin, guys. I mean, people are going to hate on you. I knew they were going to hate on me. I knew the video would go viral just by how I mean, it's just the substance of it. So I knew I was going to get a lot of views out of it. And I knew I was going to get a lot of negative comments. So it's not a big deal. But on the other hand, I've got a lot of positive comments. A lot of like people like you know having the same situations and et cetera. A lot of people reaching out to me. I've even had people reach out and offer donations to help me get the thing fixed and all that stuff. And I didn't say nothing. But if you're one of those people watching, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you want to leave a donation to help towards it. It would be very appreciated. I'm not asking for it. Don't think I am, guys. I'm not that kind of guy. I normally don't ever say stuff like that. But, I, you know, it would help. Because at this point in time, I mean, with Christmas and everything, it's going to be, I don't know. It's going to be a while. It's going to be the first of, well, maybe the first of February. I'm going to try to get it done by February. That way I can go into the spring pattern and the white bass and all that good stuff. Because I really want to do that. I still have the little boat. Thank God I didn't sell that thing. It seems like it's still paying off. Because, you know, I thought about selling it when I got that boat. But I'm, I'm glad I'm keeping it. Because it just seems like I just keep... Everything just keeps going down. But, yeah, guys. From the time I hit that. And, and um, I mean, it was it was rough. And I, I don't think... You know, I could have filmed it. I could have, like, I could have made a lot more video. But, honest to God, I was so... One, I was so upset... You know that it happened to me and two i was very nervous about the situation because you know when i get out and walk around i'm like fixated on my adrenaline's high and like i'm fixated on my boat you know i just got this boat and i pay a lot of money almost thirteen thousand dollars you know it's like i pay a lot of money for this thing it's like jacked up and like i knew i was gonna deal have to deal with a lot of problems and then it set into me that like hey i'm in like three inches of water now that thing will draft in really shallow water but not that shallow water, especially all the rocks. I had to drag it a long ways. I had to, like, rope it and push it. I ended up the way I had to do it is I had to pick up the motor, the whole back end of it, and push it. God, it was rough. It wore me out. My anxiety was high. And, like, I kept thinking, man, by the time I had actually got it to the point, I was like, I only got, like, an hour and something of daylight. I was like, I was like, I might end up having to call, like, TWRA or something, somebody to help me. Like, I'm going to get stranded out here. It's going to be dark. It's going to be cold. All that good stuff. But, um... Yeah, guys, I did that damage, and it's going to be a while for I get fixed. That, that, that's the situation. That just shows how quick that it happens. I mean, it happens so fast. It's just so dumb. I, like, look back on it. I just keep beating myself up. I got this big graph. I can see everything, and I just so happen to come off, as y'all could see in the video where I showed that. It's just... I just, I just messed up. But I ended up still running on down. I was like... At this point, I was like... By the time I got off, I was like whatever so i ran on down i'm gonna show that that part of the video right now okay i'm bad with the bass Bad bass. Thank you, Lord. 
Hey, we got a fish. So I'm sitting here just being like, Ugh. I'm just winded and wore out. Just kind of feeling over it. But we got some nice little large amount of there. I wasn't even recording there. Of course I wasn't. Of course I wasn't recording. Why would I be? Nice little bass. <laughs> Sorry, God. I'm wore out, man. I'm upset. I'm sad. Nice little bass. Let's let him go. See you, buddy. Uh, I am wore out. There's a brush pile. Straight ahead. <laughs> I got hit by something. There he is. Look at that skip jack. It's a good little fish, whatever it is. Lose him. It's a skip. Yeah. What's a big old skip jack up here? It's a big one. If you get them up, well, they just start going crazy on you. They just go crazy. Big old skip jack. Big old greasy skip jack. Let's let him go. Kind of what I thought he was. Catching that other one. Alright guys, so we were still able to catch a bass. I caught a bass like right after that. He's a little he's a little bass, but I caught a bass and a couple of skipjack. So I was able to put a couple of fish in the boat. It wasn't like a great day. I mean it was a horrible day actually, but it um it is what it is. I still went fishing. After all that I still went and caught a couple of fish because I was like, man, I'm I'm still out here. I was like, I got an hour or so, I might as well hang out. I ended up getting a really pretty sunset and that's it guys i came back and it's just one of those things that like now i know that area i know where it's like dangerous like where to pay really close attention and it just gave me a, a more broader aspect of like it's just happened so quick it's just like anything else and i know that in life i've been in car accidents i've been in loads of different situations it's just a, a little humble reminder that it's like god will pop you on the head every now and then and be like hey man <laughs> you're immortal you gotta watch out so it is what it is and um I'm upset about it. I still am. I think I'm going to be for a while until I get everything fixed. It's going to be a big pain in the butt pulling everything apart. It's going to be a new experience for me. But from one of all the videos I've seen and the, all the um, um, service manual and all that stuff, everything feels pretty comfortable. I think I can take care of all of it going through it. I found a good website with a really affordable parts and all that good stuff. It's going to probably run me around. Uh, it's not going to be cheap. I think after parts... And to the end, I'm probably looking about 900 bucks, 850. That's to pull it, and I mean, we're talking everything from lube to, to everything from lube. I'm like from from gear oil to like sealants and and all the different gaskets I'm gonna need. And plus, hopefully, I don't have any too much internal damage. I'd say like the main gears, drive shaft, all that stuff is good. I would I think the the dog clutch pin and all that stuff would fail, and the prop shaft, the prop shaft isn't horribly bent i've seen guys bend their prop shafts over 50 so i mean um uh, what is it uh thousandths of an inch mine's like 17 and twenty thousand. see that's what gets me like i would try to bend mine back and just run it until it fell because i might tear it down anyway but i don't understand why i'm getting inconsistent numbers on the 360 on the 360 turn like that from all the way around like why i'm getting two separate numbers and i thought well maybe the 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 meter would be wrong but why would the meter the meter couldn't be that that consistently wrong and it doesn't matter if i go this way or that way it just i've cleaned the surface and made sure all that and i've moved it in different locations it doesn't matter it still shows an inconsistency it'll go from like zero to like 17 and then if i go back it'll go back to zero back to 17 and if i go around this way it'll go like below zero or wait it'll go up high and then if i go back around to like oh god i'm confused now if i go back down here it'll be like below zero like four below and then back up it's just it doesn't make any sense so peace of mind and what i plan on you know the trip that i was running that day was 40 miles you know it was roughly 40 miles about 20 something miles out 20 something miles back so my plan with that boat is to run, you know, 40, 50 mile trips. I can't do that with an un... 
I got to make sure everything's right. You know what I mean? Like everything's got to be right. I've got to pull that thing apart, take my time, put it back together, and make sure it's spot on. Like I can't have any problems. Period. Not when you're running 50 miles on the river like that. You got to make sure everything's. And I might go farther than that. You know, there may be days I go 60, 70. So I was testing how much gas. That Avenir Detect gets amazing gas. I was getting like, with 40 something miles, I was getting a little less than a quarter of a tank. So that's good. I could run way more than that. So I don't know, guys. This is all over the place. It's late. I'm sad. I messed up. It is what it is. But if, if you reached out to me and said anything nice or anything, even, if you, you know, whatever you said, but. For those who said the nice things and reached out to me, checked on me, asked if I was okay, I appreciate y'all guys. I appreciate y'all guys. This isn't like, and earlier, like I said, the the um, the um, links to the PayPal, and I'll link like PayPal and Venmo down there. And that's not, I'm not asking anybody to give me anything. That's just for people. I actually had one guy give me a donation. He gave me a, a good donation and um that was one of his things, and I told him that I would do it. And he said, you know, to ask, you know, just put it out there. So I did it for him, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it, and I appreciate everybody. I appreciate you just watch this. I appreciate a thumbs up. You know, my idea, you know, I was going to make this the end of the year. If you made it this far, I appreciate y'all guys. And like I said, at the end of the year, I was going to make a video. We're going to catch a 10-pounder this coming year. I'm going to fish that area, and we're going to get to 11,000 subscribers. And I've got to do it with y'all guys. Y'all guys are the only ones that we can get there with, you know. So just hitting that like, like button and, you know, commenting and even sharing the video, which I never say because I'm a pretty humble dude, you know. I'm the same guy in real life as I am on here. I don't fake anything. I don't try to be something I'm not. I, I am who I am, and I try to be as 100% realistic as I can. A little shout-out to Realistic Vision as, as I can be. So... I appreciate y'all guys. I really do. I appreciate y'all. Y'all keep me reading, like reading through all those like horrible comments, like the people that are nice and like generally nice and like understanding. It's good to see that when you're down and when like having people reach out and be like, hey man, you okay? Or like, I know you're upset and etc. It is nice. That's nice. That's stuff that like it tears at your heartstrings and makes you feel better, especially when you get kicked in the teeth. Because it sucks, man. Paying like you know, twelve thousand dollars, twelve thousand plus dollars, almost thirteen thousand dollars for a boat, and really loving it, and then going out and wrecking it is a horrible feeling. <laughs> it is a, it's it's a big kick in the teeth. I've been upset about it, but it'll be okay. I remember my daddy used to say, he'd say every now and then, or how would he say? He'd say every now and then in life, a horse is gonna come along and kick you in the teeth, and he'd be like, you know what you gotta do about it? And I'd be like, oh, what? And he'd, he'd he'd pull his teeth out and he'd smile. He said, you just got to smile about it. Keep on living. So that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to let a bad situation keep us down. It may take us a little while to get back up and get everything situated, but it will happen. I will get it done. I'm going to have to go and take and fill the gas tank up in the boat, and then I'm going to um, probably take it back up to the lake and winterize I wouldn't even plan on winterizing because I use it so often, but I'm going to winterize it and then park it for a while, and then I'm going to have to go through all my parts list and start... Uh, I'm breaking it all down what I need. First, I gotta pull it, get it all done, and I'll probably, I may, since it's gonna be so cold when I start working on it, I'll probably do it in this room. I'll work on it in here, but I appreciate y'all for watching. I appreciate all y'all guys. I really do. I love y'all guys. Y'all guys are awesome. I hope y'all have a good Christmas. We'll be back far, be bar far before Christmas is over with. We'll be back. I'll make a video here in a day or two. I'm gonna take the little boat out. I've gotta get the big boat situated, get the gas and stuff like I said park it and start doing some research and we'll go take the little boat out and see if we can't hit some places probably focus back up on the river up there for a little while because that's where all the good fishing is right now but i appreciate y'all for watching thank y'all guys thanks guys and as always i'll see y'all guys later y'all guys take it easy see y'all guys